You appeared in WWE as Jack Swagger's father in, I guess, your last most memorable wrestling television appearance. How did that whole situation come about? Uh, uh, Michael Hayes. I knew Michael Hayes when he first got in the business, him and Terry Gordy and, and the other boy. Uh, and I saw I saw Michael. He was already up at WWE. He was a, a booker, a road agent up there. I saw him at the Gulf Coast Wrestling Reunion in Mobile uh, like a, six months or so before that deal. And uh, he, he's hey, Jimmy, you know, we talked. Hey, how you doing? Blah, 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 blah. For a while, and then I didn't see him no more until I went to do the deal for with Swagger. But uh, he put my name in the hat for for doing the taking the tombstone from Kane, Popper Swagger. And some lady called me a secretary from WWE, and she uh, she asked me about it. Said, you know, your name's been brought up for the tombstone. So ended up I ended up going up there and walking out to the ring with. Jack Swagger is his dad. We told a big fat lie about how we was fishing and stuff when he was he was somewhere else. So when I ended up uh, taking the choke slam, my boy ran out on me. He left me. I guess uh, the only communication you have with Swagger probably would have been that day. Yes, that was the first time I met him. We went out and did a profile, an interview profile. We, we was fishing and doing this, and that that was his excuse that for the angle that they worked, why he he wasn't in a certain place at a certain time. He was with his dad fishing, and he had the proof to show it. So he he was showing that, and then I went to the ring with him, and him and him and Kane got in an argument. And he slid out of the ring, and I got caught for the choke slam and the tombstone. Now, I guess they flew you in for that then, and you probably would have got a pretty good payday because that was a big role for that show. Yes. I actually, uh, my first my first trip I drove, because I lived in Knoxville. It was in Lexing Lexington, Kentucky, which is only a couple hundred miles away, so I just told them I'll drive up there. Took the physical, and then the next night in, in uh, Louisville, it's when I took the uh, choke slam and the tombstone, <clears throat> and then. But a few weeks later, I went. I came here to Albany with Jack in a wheelchair, where I was hurt. I had the thing around my neck, and I got got elbowed again, carried out again. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.